In order to evaluate this expression, we need to remember that all variables can be expressed as themselves over 1 when we need to turn them into fractions. So x just becomes x over 1. Now we need to convert that into a fraction with 5 in the denominator, and we can do that by multiplying by 5 over 5. We then end up with 5x over 5. We haven't changed the value, but now we've converted it into a fraction with the correct denominator, and now we can add the numerators together. So we end up with 5x plus 3 over 5, which ends up being our final answer.